Hey, good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning. We are going to do a what sold uh, on eBay to start this off today. I'm actually just getting in a little later than normal. Um, sometimes you just got to start your day a little, a little slower, I guess. Uh, so we had, I believe, five orders um, yesterday. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we had five orders, five paids and uh, we're gonna go through these real quick and then we'll put this in probably with another video for what sold today on Thursday or so on so if this is your first time to the channel my name is Brad me and my wife Angela run a full-time online business we are the bolo pickers and uh, we sell full-time online uh, through Amazon uh, eBay and a little bit of Facebook marketplace we own a bookstore this is the back of our bookstore that's where we do all of our online shopping so let's get started with the order pulls today nothing crazy but uh, I want to show you guys what we sold all right so we're gonna actually ship these out as soon as we get done pulling these uh, first item up was a five pack of books I almost threw these away but they looked pretty old they're in box nine which is right here which is overflowing and then we got all this other stuff uh sitting on the tables here so let me see if i can find it um down in here somewhere there's coffee there's other books and oh there they are right there they're right there in the back it's called honey bunch these books are called honey bunch and it was a five pack set. I have no room today. We're listing like crazy. It's been pretty busy. Uh, we're trying to get our listing count back up after a very busy weekend. Sorry about the camera work there. It kind of slipped out of my hands. But we had a very busy weekend. We sold 31 items um, Saturday and Sunday. Hasn't been too busy since then, uh, but not too bad either. We're, we average five to 10 sales a day. Um, this is what the Honey Bunch looks like. And I got this tote here with clothes in it that we still need to list. And uh, we actually have a bunch of clothes that we picked up when we thrifted on Monday. I dropped this book right here. Here's another one. So you're probably curious how much we sold those for. Like I said, we almost threw them away. They were free to us. Um, but they sold for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. So not a bad little uh, flip there. If you watched uh, one of our past videos, you probably saw me um, talk about listing this or what found what we found uh, when doing um, some online shopping. This is a vintage 1990 tennis grip by What A Grip. It sold for $9.99. It is right here. This is what it looks like. Sold for $9.99. There's a $5 price tag on there. It's in the pictures. It wouldn't come off. And if it did, it would have torn it all up. So we just left it on there. But five, uh, $9.99 and the buyer page shipping on that. That will go out first class. Should be an easy um, item to ship. Next up, we have a windshield um, washer pump. And it is in, this is an older one. It's in box four, which is up here. This sold for $12. This is just a, a windshield washer that helps uh, spray out the water, I think. Let's see, it's right here. And uh, just so you guys know, on the water grip, I think I paid $1.99 for it, maybe less. Um, and we paid, I think, 99 cents for this washer pump. $12 free ship, we'll put that in a little box probably. Maybe a padded envelope. It's kind of tall for that, but uh, but we'll see. Um, yesterday's video, or this weekend's video, when I was talking about, I pulled something from BS2 F2, and I actually showed this item right here, this Fallout 4. Um, and I was like, I'm surprised this hasn't sold yet. And uh, it literally sold last night for full asking price, too. I don't know if it was some, one of our YouTube friends or not, but... Uh, if it was, and you're seeing this video, shoot me a message and I'll call you out in the next video. But it sold for $29.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And then last but not least, we love vintage um, exercise equipment. And it's actually up here in DD1 and you can actually see it sticking out. So I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna bring it down. And it is the Easy Crunch, um, which is this piece here. 
we'll set that down there on that blue phone that we're testing and this piece here so um i want to say we paid 2.99 for that um maybe up to three or four dollars but it sold for 24.99 buyer paid shipping i'm actually going to show you guys how we ship long items i learned this from matt at part-time pickers one of his videos uh, we just use two priority mailboxes, a 1092 and a 1095, and we put them together. So I'm going to show you those steps here. And uh, and yeah, that's all the items that we sold. Um, so we're going to start shipping those. But like I said, I want to show you specifically the Easy Crunch and how to ship it. All right, guys. So I went ahead and grabbed the 1092 and the 1095. I'm going to show you how we identify those boxes. These are free boxes from USPS and on one side where they have the barcode you will see that it tells you the size and i'll try to keep it out of the out of the light there uh the shadow but as you can see that's a 1095 july 2013 it's got the size of the box and this other one is a 1092 as you can see the size of the box there so if you look this one is just a bit bigger um, and we're going to use that to our advantage because we're going to build these and then we're going to slide one over the top of the other I'm going to show you how All right, so even the best laid plans don't sometimes work. So uh, the handle on this um, Easy crunch actually will not fit into either one of these boxes It's it's such a weird angle that I'm not sure Maybe but I don't think so guys because that box has to slide over this box and with it sticking out like that it won't fit in either one of these boxes so normally what we would do is we would stick this down in the box if it didn't have that wide um, handle on it right we'd stick it in there and then we would cut here where my fingers are and here and we'd fold those flaps down and then we'd slide the other box over because it would keep it from shaking everywhere but because this item is too wide we can't use that method so sometimes that happens and then you have to uh, you have to reevaluate how you're going to ship something um, typically with longer items we don't have a major issue with them uh, sometimes they can be a bit challenging uh, just got boxes in from staples yesterday they sent me a $30 off coupon um, and if we spent 60 so it was like getting half off of the boxes I hit it right on the right excuse me right on like $60 and some change um, what we can do though is we can take a smaller box like so from Amazon probably from Amazon returns and what we can do is see if this will fit in there so I'm going to set you guys down for just a second on top of these books while we fold this down to see this may not be long enough uh, let's see here it's not long enough look <laughs> Sometimes longer items can be a real pain. Um, now we can break this box and make it longer um, to fit this in. And um, there's a video going around on how to do it. There are, or a GIF as I, I think you call it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what, what I typically do is I see this line here and I kind of break the box there and I break the box there. It's gonna be hard to do one handed. So I'm gonna set you down and show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and show this to you. Um, so what I did is I took the box and you see the little bend right there. I press in on that and that bends that box this way. I do it on the other side as well, which also bends the box. And then these are connected. So you have to cut those on opposite corners. And then what you're left with when you get the box folded up and we're gonna try and do this so you guys can see it. Um, we're gonna fold down this flap first. All right, we're going to bring these together, right, just like that. And then we're going to bring these together, just like that. And then we're going to fold, just like this. Now, if you look, that is what we call a Frankenbox. And uh, it should be big enough for our item. I'm going to flip it over. And uh, as you can see, there's, you know, you're going to press it in. You're going to tape all that. But it's going to be long enough. Man, we're doing a lot of work today gonna be long enough but look the handles too wide still it's this handle this handle <laughs> so uh, now I don't know what I'm gonna do but uh, that's how you uh, that's how you fold down um, the boxes if this was just a long skinny item 
and if you look you have to cut that corner and you have to cut that corner and then you can fold all the flaps and it makes a nice long box right there for it so let me see if i can find a different box to put this in and uh, get this shipped out all right guys so in the end i don't have a box that's long enough for this i guess i should have measured a little bit sooner it's 22 inches by 13 inches wide that is going to be a monster box to try and put that in so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to bubble wrap it um, all the way around everything and then i've got this poly bag and what we'll do is we'll slide it in and it's just perfect for the size of this item it's going to cover it maybe i should flip that over and show you guys but it's going to just cover um, that item and we'll bubble wrap it really well and then we'll stick it in there and then we'll ship it that way. So I know a lot of new beginners, a lot of new people, they struggle with shipping. Shipping can be a challenge. Um, we carry a lot of different boxes because we do ship to Amazon. We ship uh, to customers on Amazon and eBay. We have a lot of orders going out, so it can be a bit challenging. But uh, don't be afraid of the bigger items. You'll find a way to get it shipped and uh, make that money. Sometimes it's just a learning process. Now I know. Um, I've got to pay attention to the width of the item as, long as, the, uh, as well as the length of the item to, to help out there. So that's it for today's video. There may be some, uh, some what sold today added on. If not, please hit the like button, subscribe to us, and uh, leave any comments or questions that you have below. And uh, thanks so much for walking. We'll talk to you guys soon.